Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to merge PDF files in Excel by using Python. Let me show you the final workbook which we are going to build from scratch. For this tutorial I have two folders. In the first folder I have a mix of different files such as Excel workbooks, PDF documents and a text file. In the other folder I have 300 single PDF files. I intend to create only one PDF file for each folder which combines all the PDFs. In the final application we could select the source directory which contains the PDF files. Afterwards I will provide an output name of the merged PDF. After clicking the button I can see in the status bar that the merged PDF file has been saved in the workbooks directory. And indeed here is my combined PDF file. Similarly we could also select the other folder containing 300 single PDF pages, provide an output name and click the button. This new PDF file contains now all our 300 pages. Ok and without further ado let us build this application from scratch. I assume that you have already Python installed on your machine. If not feel free to check out my quick tutorial on how to install Python. You will find the video in the info card above. As a first step shoot up your terminal or command prompt. For this tutorial we will need the pypdf2 and Excel Wings library. Therefore go ahead and type pip install pypdf2 and pip install Excel Wings. Once done go ahead and type Excel Wings quick start followed by your project name. I will call mine PDF merger and then add the argument standalone. By executing this line Excel Wings will create a new folder in the directory from where you ran this command. In my case Excel Wings will create the folder on my desktop. In the folder you will find an Excel and a Python file. Open up the Excel file and navigate to the developer tab. If the developer tab is not visible for you, you can enable it under File, Options, Customize Ribbon and then tick the box next to Developer. As a next step, insert a button into your worksheet. The quick start command added already a macro called sample call. Assign this sample call macro to the button. If everything is working, you should see Hello Excel Wings in cell A1 after clicking this button. If you click it again, it says Buy Excel Wings. As a next step, I will prepare the workbook as seen in the final application. If you want to follow along, it does not matter which cell you are going to use. If your path for the source directory is not in cell C4, then it's totally fine, as we will be working with named ranges. Just click in the cell where you will input the folder path to the PDF files. Next, go up here and type source underscore dir. Do the same for the output name. Click in the cell, so in my case C6, type output underscore name and press enter. And one more time for the status, which I will also name status. Once done, you should see now those names in this drop down menu. The next step is optional. Instead of manually copy and pasting the file path to the folder containing the PDF files, we could also put in place a short VBA script. For this open up the Visual Basic Editor. In Module 1, under the Sample Call sub, paste the following code. You will find this VBA code snippet also in the description box. All it does is to open up the File Picker dialog box to select a folder. The VBA script will then return the path to the selected folder to the cell source directory, so our named range. In the worksheet I will assign this macro called Select Folder to a button and name it Select Folder. After clicking the button, the file picker dialog box should appear. Once you have selected a folder, click on OK and the VBA script should return the file path to your worksheet. Before we are jumping to the Python code, let me also choose an output name here. After saving this file, I will open up the Python file. Go ahead and delete the following. First things first, I will import the libraries. To work with the different paths, I will import the pathlib library. As this is a standard Python library, no extra installation is required. To merge the PDFs, I will import the PDF file merger and the PDF file reader from the PyPDF2 module. I will also link the documentation from Excel Wings and PyPDF in the final script, which you can also download from the description box down below. Inside the main function, I will create the PDF file merger instance. I will name the instance merger. 
As you might remember, in the final application, we will also return the file path once the PDF file has been merged. Before creating the new PDF file, I would like to clear the contents of the status cell. We can do this by typing sheet range and in here our status cell and then clear contents. Next, I will get the path to the source directory and store it in a variable. I will do the same for the output name, but I will also concatenate the output name with the ending .pdf. As a next step, I would like to get a list of all file paths for any PDF file in the given source directory. So I will first create a list and inside the list I will use the pathlib library and return only the paths for PDF files. Now that we have the PDF files in a list, I can iterate over each file. Inside my for loop, I will then merge the files by using the append method. To get the content from each file, we will be using the PDF file reader and I will provide the path to the PDF file in a string format. The argument rb opens the file as read only in binary format and starts reading from the beginning of the file. In this example, I will be returning the merged PDF file to the same working directory as the script combined with the output name we have defined earlier. Now I can take the merger object and write the output to that path. Finally, I would also like to return a message to the user in the status cell. I will use the Python F string and say that the files have been saved and return the output path. Alright, and that's it. Let me save this script and head back to Excel. If you click this button now, the Python script will merge all PDF files from the given source directory and save the file in the directory of the Python script. So let me also test the other folder. Alright, and this seems to be all working. As a last step, I will apply some styling to our worksheet. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions or need further support, let me know in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.